Well, this is my chance to say a few brief words at the end of a very, very busy year. And I'm aboard HMS Dauntless in Portsmouth Dockyard with a very sort of grey sea and sky behind me on a grey ship, but actually with a very bright future. And I just want to say a few words about what we've been through, what we've done, uh, and what we're looking forward to in the future. It's been an incredibly busy year, South Atlantic, Gulf, underwater, RFA, Marines, everybody throughout the entire Navy family, fleet air arms, civil servants have all worked incredibly hard. And that hard work, uh, which needs the supports of families to make it genuinely come to fruition, is, is greatly respected and appreciated by the government. And in a sense, our Christmas present to ourselves is the outcome of the Defence Review. It is, I think, a genuine acknowledgement that the Navy's future is very bright, it's demanding of us and our people and our families, but it is absolutely uh, bright and optimistic, and that's what we need for the future to make us feel that all of our hard work and our investment is worthwhile. So I'd like to thank you deeply and personally on behalf of the whole of the Navy, the Navy Board, to you and your families for all of the amazing work this year. Those who can get a break, those who can't, keep working. You know the routine. The Navy never stops, and we've got thousands out there right now. Uh, I'll see you next year. 2016 promises to be an amazing year. It's the year of the Queen Elizabeth sailing from Rosyth, and it's the year of big implementations as we start to increase our numbers and invest for the future. It's also a year of challenge because, of course, we have to make sure that we get the right skills in the right place, that we keep the right people, and that we set the foundations for the prosperity that we want to achieve. Have a great Christmas to you and your families.